Okay, so for this part of the question then, we're asked to work out what the mean is and the standard deviation for this set of data. And we're given this summary statistic, sigma, the sum of x squared times the frequency. And so how do we, first of all, calculate the mean? Well, the mean mu, let's just write this in here, is equal to sigma, the sum of x times f, all divided by sigma f, a formula that we should be familiar with. Well, we can get the sum of the frequencies, sigma f. Sigma f, if you add that up, comes to 30. And as for sigma xf, the midpoint value multiplied by the frequency, you just got to do 5 times 2 is 10 and so on, then just total them up. Well, to save time, I've actually done that column there. And if you were to total this up, in other words, work out what sigma xf was, you should find you get 477.5. So when it comes to working out the mean mu, all you've got to do then is 477.5 for sigma xf divided by sigma f, which was the 30. And if you work that out, what you get is 15.916 recurring. And if you round that, say, to one decimal place, that's going to be 15.9 to 1 dp. OK? Now, for the standard deviation, standard deviation, I'll just write SD, we tend to use the symbol sigma here, the small sigma, OK? And what it is equal to is, in fact, the square root, a formula that you should be familiar with, the square root of the sum of sigma x squared f, OK, divided by sigma f minus the mean that we just calculated over here, the mean mu squared. So we have these summary statistics up here. We have sigma x squared f. So all we've got to do then is to work out the square root of 8603.75 divide that by sigma f, which is 30, minus the mean, 15.916 recurring, all squared. And what you get is 5.7837. If you do that on your calculator, and round that, say, to one decimal place, and that comes to 5.8 to one decimal place, one dp then. Okay.